Hi folks, welcome to the Harbor Grace Customs House. Thank you very much for awarding us the Cornerstone Award from, from the National Trust. It means so much to us. This is the home of the Concession Bay Museum. Our people here take so much delight in coming here. Hopefully, someday you'll get an opportunity to visit. So again, thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. In local folklore, the earliest structure on this site was the pirate Peter Easton's fortifications, constructed circa spring 1612. By 1618, poet and colonist Robert Heyman managed the, company's, the community's first settlement in this area, then called the Bristol's Hope Colony. Heyman summered 10 years on these grounds, spending his spare time cultivating a rose garden and writing poetry. These poems, collected as quad libets and published in 1628, are considered the first works of English creative writing written in the New World. The first customs house in Harbour Grace was reportedly in the vicinity of the Two Sisters Rock Formation on the tip of Beers Cove. The Water Street location served as the customs house from at least the year 1800. In 1867, the Newfoundland Legislature passed the Supply Act, which granted $6,000 to construct a new customs house in Harbour Grace in the same location. George Tapp, a resident from St. Phillips, built this new brick and slate roof structure for the government in 1870, 150 years ago. The Customs House was a center of business and international trade for all Conception Bay ports and reinforced the commercial character of Harbor Grace. Vessels leaving Newfoundland will be subject to government tariffs and the Customs duty taxes will be collected on imported goods and animals. Later, the Customs House was a tuberculosis clinic and an office for the Department of Social Services. In 1970, the Customs House came under new management. The Conception Bay Museum Association, Incorporated, was founded in 1970 for the purpose of preserving local history and assisting in the tourism potential in the Conception Bay area, one of the most beautiful and historic areas of this province. Opening a regional museum in Harbour Grace's old customs house and developing a historical trail from Brigus to Placentia were the first steps of the committee's five-year tourism plan for the region. In 1974, the Conception Bay Museum opened as a national exhibition center, hosting over 5,000 visitors during its opening season. And in 1975, permanent local history exhibits were displayed to the general public. Much of the museum's early success is thanks to the Lee family, who guided the institution through its first years. The Conception Bay Museum features several local exhibits on the history of our region. The Aviation Room showcases Harbour Grace's history of transatlantic flights. 20 planes utilized the Harbour Grace airstrip for this pursuit, some successfully, some unsuccessfully. None were more famous than Amelia Earhart. The period setting room features 19th century furniture, most of which came from the old presentation covenant. On the wall are original painted portraits of the Mondans and the Mons, who had an indelible influence on the development of 19th century Harbour Grace. Our pirate and fishing room details the history of Peter Easton and mercantilism in Harbour Grace and Conception Bay. 
you will find storyboards relating Easton's nefarious excursions and a life-size replica of the pirate, always an amusing photo op. Our latest exhibit tells the story of the Customs House, a celebration of the 150-year history of our building due to be installed in late October. In 2019, we finished our latest project, the restoration of the Colson's Cove Steers, which lead to the beach where Newfoundland's first settler, John Guy, landed salt in 1612. Today, this beach is a place for families to skip rocks, catch capelin, and take in the magnificent seascape. But the Cosmos House is so much more than a place for exhibits. First, curators Jerome and Pamela Lee wanted residents to have a personal involvement with the museum to feel they had an important role in its success. At the heart of their vision for the Cosmos House was to engage youth and the community through both education and culture. Today, this vision still inspires programming and initiatives at the Conception Bay Museum. In recent years, we've hosted several popular events for the region and the community. Our Halloween showcase, Haunted Harbor Grace, takes visitors through the streets of town at night with volunteer actors performing characters from the past. Concerts in the park highlight youth and adult performers during the month of August. Travel the Trail, a community hike, recounts the history of the Pirate's Path Trail in Harbor Grace. Our downtown heritage walks present the magnificent built heritage of Harbor Grace for residents and visitors. Summer Trivia Nights, sponsored by the museum, have been featured on CBC's Still Standing. Be a Pirate Day lets kids learn about Conception Bay's pirate history and explore our grounds for treasure. The museum is always a popular place for a local book lunch or an historical lecture. And in 2019, we partner with the Town and Cricket NL to bring cricket back to Harbour Grace, a popular sport here in the late 19th and early 20th century. Despite a long 50 years of work, the Conception Bay Museum Board is as active as ever. Our volunteers have made sure the Customs House remains a vibrant, vital heritage structure in the town of Harbour Grace. With the help of members from our board, the Heritage Foundation of Newfoundland and Labrador has explored redevelopment schemes for Harbour Grace's old downtown. With redevelopment plans, new exhibits, and ongoing proposals, the Customs House is set for a bright future in the town of Harbour Grace. <laughs>